Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Seema Shah Fairbank and in this lesson we'll cover watersheds. This is part one of a two video sequence. In order to learn about watersheds, you really need to be able to evaluate elevation data from topographic maps. And so one of the first things you will learn is how to read topographic maps. Once you understand topographic maps clearly, you will perform a watershed delineation. But before we can start, it's really important that you know what a watershed is. By definition, a watershed is an area of land which drains water to a specific point. The area is composed of ridges which drain towards valleys. As shown in the simple schematic, the red dot is the outlet. This is the location where we're interested in determining the flow rate or discharge. The dashed blue line is the valley where the water will drain towards and the watershed itself is outlined in black. The boundary will, of the watershed is actually located along the outermost ridge of the watershed. As mentioned, ridges drain water away from the center of the contours. The sample contours show that the ridge is marked in, marked in red, a red line and causing the water to flow away from the center. Valleys, on the other hand, drain water towards the center the sample contour shows the valley marked in red and causes water to go towards the center. Now pause the video really quick. And can you pull out your Burbank Canyon topographic map located in the Blackboard management system? If you don't have access to it, you can pull up another 7.5 minute topographic map. It's really important that you understand how to read topographic maps. There are very few people in the world that can look at a 2D map like this and see 3D valleys and ridges and high points. Having the map in color does help, but most people need to practice to understand maps. The first step is to identify contours. Highlighted in purple, you'll see the contour elevation 1,800 feet. Next, highlighted in purple, you see the contour elevation 2,200. Do you see the valley? Next, we're gonna determine the contour intervals. To determine the contour intervals, we need to count the lines between 2200 and 1800. For example, you can see there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what you notice is there are 10 contours. Pause the video, confirm it for yourself. If you take 2200, subtract it from 1800 and divide it by 10, you'll determine that each contour is, 50, is 40 feet. Next, it's important to find high points. High points are highlighted in red. These are identified by an X with a callout elevation, like you see, 1952, or a closed contour. We also need to be able to identify depressions. This is identified with a closed contour with dashed lines on the USGS topographic map. I've highlighted in green. Lastly, you need to notice that there are dashed lines in the topographic map. I've highlighted this with a brown highlighter. Those lines represent service roads. Now that you know how to read a topographic map, we're ready to delineate a topographic map. The first step in delineating a topographic map is to identify the outlet. For this example, the outlet is located the reservoir downstream of Burbank Canyon. This is our point of interest. We are going to be delineating Burbank Canyon. The location of the outlet in this case is a single point. This single point is a reservoir, but a single point can also be a location such as a bridge or a culvert or even a confluence of two rivers. A confluence is where two streams come together. A tributary is a side stream that drains into the main channel as shown in the topographic map. Many times, the outlet is not a single point, but multiple points. At times, you are designing a roadway, and you need to know the flow at each of the catch basins to make sure that you can intercept the flow. You also want to know the flows in the road so you can reduce the spread of water. Or you're interested in flows at various points in the watershed. This might be a development project. Next, you need to identify the valleys and the ridges. Remember what was mentioned earlier. Ridges drain water away, valleys drain water towards. To identify valleys, one idea is to start highlighting the contours that cause the blue line stream shown in the topographic map. Next, highlight the main channel. Then identify tributary streams that drain towards the main channel. 
This will really help you see the watershed and its size. Now it's time to identify the boundary. The contour for the ridge are opposite in shape from the contours of the valley. Instead of A shape, we're looking at U shapes. I always start on one side and head to a high point. In this example, I stop at the radio tower. Then I move to the other side. I'm following the ridge lines. What you should notice is that none of the blue streams cross the boundary. And also all my lines are perpendicular to the contours. When I reach the top, I start trying to figure out what's going on. So I identify high points. This really helps. And I slowly connect my, my watershed boundary through those high points as shown. We will go up the ridge and down saddles in order for this connection to do. This is a good time to pause the video and rewind and watch the delineation again. Try delineating the watershed on your own. It's okay if you have trouble, we'll practice more in class. As mentioned previously, there are many times when you may want to know the flow at multiple points of interest. When this occurs, you need to subdivide your watershed. In this example, I'd like to subdivide Bourbon Canyon at the red X that I've identified. Next, I will label the watershed such that I can determine the flows at A1 and, A2 and B1. Then the flows from these two are combined taken downstream and connected with the flows from A2 to determine the total flows. So this is an example. We'll continue to practice this throughout the semester. So to prepare for class and for your own practice, I'd like you to make sure you complete the Burbank Canyon watershed. I've also given you a handout in the LMS on Wolf Canyon. Please delineate both these watersheds. For Wolf Canyon, delineate the watershed at the intersection of Bell and Wolf, but I'm only interested in Wolf Canyon. Do not delineate Bell Canyon. See you next time.